All right, I'm back testing the GFX 102 rolling shutter. Since we are going to be on a fast-paced shoot, the camera might be moving back and forth quite a bit. So I'm gonna walk around and just kind of simulate some of the conditions, maybe just pan quickly left to right, um, do some walking around. I have the camera set up on the easy rig here. So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and take a look. We have the Premista 19 to 45, 2.9. It's got a mat, an RE matte box. We have the GFX 100 with the gold mount back here that's powering the Ultra 5, which will eventually have a transmitter going out to director. And then we have um, tilt and nucleus handles, which control the zoom and the focus. Let's see. If I whip pan pretty quick, up and down. I don't know. I'm not really seeing the jello here. Like if I move it back and forth. Oh yeah, maybe there's a little bit there. You can see if I jiggle it around. But I mean, honestly, I'm not really even gonna be moving like that. Anything, if anything, it'd be like this. It'd be like quick moves, sort of like this. So if we're going from like one object to the other, what would that look like? Now, what if I did like 180 degrees? Are you seeing that there? 180 degrees. Boom, boom. All right, so I just turned IBIS off and uh, let's see if that affects the rolling shutter at all. We're running around a little bit. Maybe some of the bouncing from the walking in the easy rig. I don't know, normally I'd see it with the running, but uh, I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like it's not really, I'm not really seeing it. All right guys, it's getting late. It's like 20 degrees out here. I am warm because I've been running around a bit, but let's take this in the post and take a look. All right, we are back in studio. And after looking at some of the footage on my laptop, I'm gonna say that the rolling shutter is not gonna be a problem for the GFX 102, at least for the shoot that we're doing. My biggest concern was the jello or the wavy movement that you see on the screen uh, for cameras with really bad rolling shutter, but I didn't really see it here. I really had to jiggle the camera around a lot in an unnatural motion that I'd be using the camera. So because of that, um, I don't think that it's gonna be an issue for this shoot. Now, one thing that did concern me was reading CineD's website where they did a test of the GFX 102, just the readout speed for the rolling shutter, and it was relatively high. But through my own testing, it didn't seem like it was gonna be a problem. So let's pull up this one clip here where I'm really just like shaking the camera around, I'm running around really quickly, I'm just kind of like waving it around. Again, this isn't something that I would just normally do uh, but I just really wanted to kind of push the test and see like how bad it would be and how sensitive I needed to be with the camera. But again, I was jiggling it around a lot and um, running around, just kind of like not really holding the camera carefully. And I didn't see the problem unless I was like really, really starting to shake it. And then you start to see some in like kind of the edges and the corners. But again, that's an unnatural camera move. So as a cinematographer, this just goes to show that it's so important to test out the cameras that you're going to be using for an upcoming shoot if you're unfamiliar with them because you can read all of the technical papers in the world, you can look at test footage, but until you test it for your particular scenarios, you don't really know. You can have an idea, but you don't really truly know. So it was uh, super important for us to do this test. I'm really happy that we did it because it's not gonna be a problem for the footage that we're gonna be capturing. Uh, but yeah, that's just kind of the uh, my takeaway from this whole thing. So if you have any other questions, please post them below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. All right guys, peace.